Hello and welcome to today's Monkey Business. This is Monkey Business for March 19th, 2013. And in today's afternoon copy newser, we have... Aircraft manufacturer Boeing has had an interesting series of ups and downs to start off the new year. More on Boeing in the episodes shown if you'd like to catch up. The latest news is an order placed by Ryanair in an agreement worth $15.6 billion at list prices. The budget airline is ordering 175 uh, next-generation 737-800s for the airline's planned fleet expansion. When finalized, the purchase would be Boeing's largest deal to date in 2013 and the largest ever aircraft order from a European airline. And in a recent episode, we covered the Liberty Global Virgin Media deal, that clip here. Well, Liberty Chairman John Malone is at it again, this time in an agreement including Apollo Management, Oak Tree Capital Management, and Crestview Partners to take a stake in Charter Communications for about uh, 2.6 billion U.S. dollars. Charter Communications is the fourth largest cable provider in the U.S. For more details on the deal, just check the link in the info box. And now over to Marcel for Nearly News. Take it away, Marcel! What's your favorite show? And how far would you go to sub brand new episode of that show? There are a lot of shows out there with a cult following like uh, Arrested Development, uh, Farscape, MacGyver, and Red Dwarf, even including uh, commercial heavies like the Twin Peaks or the X-Files. And the fans of the shows have been waiting for ages complaining and letter writing to see a major motion picture or even a handful of new episodes featuring their favorite characters. Fans of Arrested Development finally get their wish, they're getting 14 new episodes of the show in May 2013 to be streamed on movie site Netflix, which is starting to produce its own original programming as well. And now it's time for the revival of another TV show with a cult following, got to see if the show fans and crowdfunding side Kickstarter. We've talked about Kickstarter in a few episodes and here they are, somewhere, just look. So, who's up next? Veronica Mars. The show creator Rob Thomas gave up trying to find a studio willing to pick up the tab for a proposed film and simply took it to the fans. And the fans answered loud and clear. Hmm, you know, time for lunch, I think. Just flying off the coast of California and the US. Shall we have a little pit stop? Yes, let's do that. And here I am on a film set. Not the Veronica Mars film set, because they don't even know where they're shooting at. The producer's Kickstarter proposal suggests L.A., San Diego, Baton Rouge, Vancouver, all with little question marks. So it's not their film set. Nobody knows where that's even going to be. But it's a film set, and I'm here, so let's film something. I'm ready for my close-up. Okay, actually the set just shows the campus of San Diego State University in San Diego, California through a colored dance. You know, the scenery doesn't actually look that color, unless maybe you're an alien flying by in a space pad or looking to a rainbow. The university campus was one of the filming locations for the Veronica Mars series. Here's the promo for the Veronica Mars film project, voila! What's odd about the film is that it's not an indie project by a struggling filmmaker. High-profile uh, studio Warner Brothers, owned by Time Warner, will own and distribute the film. So it really does make you a little curious why Hollywood Studio doesn't just uh, cough up the cash to fund its own show. Strange, huh? I know they said there's no free lunch in Hollywood. I didn't know there was no lunch. Do you want to take a lunch meeting? No, no, not really. Why not? Because there's no lunch. Ah, oh, but uh, back to the topic. So controversial, yes, to some extent, this uh, decision. Not everyone's happy about it, and you can read an op-ed on just that topic in the info box. On the other hand, it does give sort of an evolving definition to video on demand, you know, with fans chipping in to make a project happen that they want to see that wouldn't be made any other way. Whether crowdfunding becomes a viable source of funding for new shows remains to be seen, but it's given fans and creators an outlet, in this case, for choosing what they want to see made, simply by paying for their entertainment in advance. And action! Instead of writing letters to a studio to bring back the show, for example, a fan of the Veronica Mars show could instead pledge their $35 and receive a copy of the film during its theatrical release. The show creator initially set the goal at $2 million. 
In less than five days, some 56,000 fans pledged a collective $3.6 million, close to double the initial goal, and the project is a go. Funded not by a studio, but by the show's own audience. You know, it's not a major sea change in business as usual, but uh, certainly interesting. If you're one of the project backers behind the Veronica Mars movie, or if you're just interested in the topic, feel free to leave a comment if you like. Would you rather back an indie project or a new show or a show you already love? Does it vex you that a Hollywood studio is getting more or less a full ride for production costs? Or does it simply not matter as long as you get to see your favorite characters on screen one more time? And of course, if a crowdfunding bank could bring back one show you loved for a new series or a new film, which one would you bring back? Cult TV, huh? Hmm. Well, I don't know, Marcel. There are, there are a lot of shows out there that could probably be classified as cult TV. But uh, it's hard to think of some of them offhand. A few series have already had films or new episodes made based on the original series. There's um, Dark Shadows, The Lone Ranger, The Avengers, Starsky and Hotch. There's also The Sweeney, Battlestar Galactica, and of course Star Trek. Maybe a few series skirting the edge of fantasy or sci-fi, like Children of the Stones, or The Voyagers, Rent-A-Ghost, Sliders, or Time Slip, or Space 1999. You could also probably consider a lot of the 1960s spy series, like The Prisoner or Danger Man. There'd be 1970s crime shows like Kojak, or The Rockford Files, or Amy Prentice, or even 1990s sci-fi series, or crime series, like uh, British crime drama's Cracker, or Wycliffe, or sci-fi series The Outer Limits, which was actually itself based on a 1960s series, or a blend of both crime and sci-fi, like Crime Traveler. Maybe some titles from the 1950s, but those would be more likely to be cult films, not cult TV. Anything with a swamp, a lagoon, or something from Mars is likely to be a good candidate there, I guess. So, maybe not that many from the 1950s, but the others seem to show up regularly as cult TV. Let me just ask if anyone knows any more to add. Hey, anyone have something to toss in here? Cult TV? What? The A-Team? Oh, right. There was actually a show called Bring Back the A-Team? I guess some people want to bring back the A-Team. So, okay then, we've got the newsroom vote. What about the A-Team? The A-Team, what's that? It's one of the slate of shows from the 1980s or 90s, I think. What, 1980s? 1980s. It's on DVD and not as obscure as some of the others. Although, maybe that's not in the running if we're talking about shows that haven't already gotten the cinematic touch. Uh, that one's already had a movie based on the series, I think. Have you seen it? No, just trying to think of likely cult TV shows that people might back in a Kickstarter campaign, either for a new series or a film version. So, most of these shows have dedicated followers out there, whether or not the show was popular at the time or became popular later on after a quick run and cancellation. But the A-Team, yes, I've heard of it. It's an action-adventure show from the U.S. They'd rescue people and drive jeeps and have gunfights and so on and, um, I don't know, generally blow things up. Uh, they sound very busy. You might have a point there. That's too much effort for me. That could be an A-Team as long as I get to be on the B-Team, you know. A-Team stands for all of you just go and I'll be there later. Maybe. If it doesn't interrupt my lunch, there could be an air team as long as I don't have to be on it. Eh bien, the air team. You know, don't call me. There are some lists in the info box featuring profiles of several cult shows. Are any of yours on the list? Because, uh, what? Well, eh bien, you never know. And that's today's monkey business. Take care, folks. It's crowdfunding and cult TV chaos out there. Have fun, Marcel. And... Action! I mean, I mean, land. What am I even saying? Action.